Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about TIA version 16 about how to call screen by uh, simulation. Yes. Actually, when we add the new project, we just got the root screen. Yes. And when we would like to uh, add one more or uh, many screen, we can add like this. Yeah. Example, I add from screen number one until screen number five. More, more than uh, root screen. Yes. So if I would like to uh, call the screen one from the root screen, I press this button. And also, if I would like to uh, call screen number 2 or number 3 or number 4 or number 5, we can also uh, do it, okay? So, uh, it's very important for this call screen because if we have many, many data that uh, store in other screens, so we can uh, call the screen to use like some uh, data log alarms or uh, etc so we can call the screen and then operate it okay so uh, let's go to our software to create the new project and then call the screen yes so here is the TIA portal that I just installed it in my uh, VMware player, yes. So uh, if we uh, already install, we will got this uh, software like TIA administrator, SVN PLC SIM, SVN PLC SIM version 16, WinCC runtime start, SVN PTC port configuration tool, automation, license manager, and uh, TIA portal. Okay. So first open TIA portal version 16 to create a new project and create five screens more than uh, the root screen. Yes. And then we will simulate it. Okay. So, uh, to create a new project, go here, create new project, yeah, please uh, click it. Example, simulation screen, yes, this is my project name, and browse to location that we want to uh, keep, yes. So, I will create a new folder, example, uh, simulation TIA okay like this and here we can uh, mention our name or uh, some name that we want yes so click create it will automatically create for us with uh, version 16 yes So uh, wait a moment. So here uh, we can click the project view. Yes. Click the project view, overview, and then uh, go to add new device. Yeah. So uh, click add new device. Double click. And go to the HMI first, yeah. And then go the some screens that uh, we want. Example, I will choose the yeah this screen TP seven hundred comfort yes was a sixteen yes. Okay, it will create for us. So uh, wait a moment for create the project of screens. Yes.
Okay, then click on uh, finish first. Yeah, click finish first. Because we don't add more uh, for PLC, so we need to click the finish first to create the screen template. Okay. So uh, right now you see here is uh, it provide only one for root screen. Yes, here. Because uh, the root screen is the main screen, like the main screen that default create by uh, TIA software. Yes. So we need to create one more screen for test. Uh, for test called the screen, right? So create a new screen. Click right click here and then add the new screen. One more, add the new screen. Yes, add a new screen. Add a new screen. Yes. Example, uh, totally right now we have a uh, set screen, right? So we need to create the button. Example, here is uh, add the root screen, right? So let's go to root screen and then create the button. But before create the button for call the screen, let's go to screen number one. Yes. And then uh, example, I draw the rectangle. Yes. And change color to another color. Yes. Easy to remember. Example, uh, red color. Yes and go to screen number two but we can copy from here and then just change only color yes paste here and then uh, i will change color like this and go to screen three screen number three and then change color also yeah example yellow go screen number four yes also uh, paste the template and then uh, change the color yes and the last one for uh, screen number five paste it and then change the color also okay so green yellow okay root screen right okay so right now we already uh, create the template and we can uh, create the button for call the screen right yes to create the button please click here and then uh, draw the button yes like this example like this yes. So we can uh, mention the screen name, example screen 1, yes, and I will change the font a little bit to be uh, smaller than this, central and then go to example 12, yes, and here screen number 1, right, so we need to call this screen number 1, right. Before call, let's go to go uh, property and then go to event. Example release, release the mouse. Yes. So activate screen. We can use the command activate screen and screen number that we want to call, right? Example call the root screen. Yes. Or screen number one because I write this one number one so we need call screen number one and we can copy yes control C and then control V just change the name yes example uh, screen number two yes Screen number two and then go to even and then change this one to screen number two. Yes. Like this. And copy more. Yes. For uh, screen number three. 
like this yes align like this and change the event to screen number three yes okay and copy one more control please control and drag and drop yes we can copy it yes example screen number four so we can go to event and then uh, change to screen number four right and one more for uh, screen number five yes drag and drop and change to screen number five change the event yes release the mouse will uh, activate the screen number five right and the last one for uh, root screen yes so uh, this is a root screen root sc yes it means that root screen so go to event and then change the root screen yes and then we can uh, press control zip yeah to uh, select all and then uh, copy yes to paste another screen so copy and then to screen number one and then control V for paste yeah go to screen number two control V for paste and then go to screen number three control C for paste screen number four Control C for paste, screen number 5, Control C, sorry, Control V for paste, and then save the project. Okay. And we can please start simulation, yeah, to test our screen, to test the function call, like uh, activate the screen, right? So right now it show uh, screen number uh, one, yes. So if we call the root screen, we can see here it is the root screen. If we would like to call the screen number five, we can see here number four, see here number three, see here or number two, see here, yes. So we can call all screens that we want, yes. If we would like to shut down the screen, we can press here. It will shut down. Okay. And we can start simulation again. So uh, here is the instruction how to call the screen for uh, TIA version 16 by using the activate screen command. Okay. I hope everyone will understand about my points about this uh, section and if I have mistake for uh, my English is not so good so um, uh, excuse me and I would like to request all of you to like, share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more uh, videos that I will create step by step and one more thing if everyone have any uh, question please drop comment under my video I will reply soon so in this time I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye